World Cup borrowing binge is weighing on Qatar's banks. Now, the government is looking at how to shore up local banks' balance sheets as they wrestle with rising loan losses following the 2022 World Cup. We dive deep into the banking crisis in Qatar in this next report. Take a look. The initial excitement around Qatar's hosting of the World Cup is beginning to dissipate as the country's state-backed lenders face increasing financial losses. Banks provided funding for various infrastructure projects, including highways, hotels, stadiums and sewage systems. A Bloomberg report quoting sources showed the Qatari government is currently thinking of ways to boost the financial positions of these banks. The government is looking at hiring restructuring advisors, purchasing troubled real estate holdings from banks hit hard by defaults, or pressuring smaller businesses to merge. While the Qatari government has never allowed a domestic bank to fail, limits on the $510 billion sovereign wealth fund may be imposed this time. This comes when Qatar's worldwide image is reaching unprecedented heights. To help finance any assistance for the banks, the government could also limit payments from its budget surplus to the Qatar Investment Authority. Qatar's international media office said in a statement, the state of Qatar's economy is strong and well positioned for the future, and this includes the banking sector. The statement added, the average ratio of non-performing loans has remained within the expected range since Qatar hosted the World Cup in 2022. The statement comes despite banks wrestling with a rise in problem loans in the aftermath of the World Cup. In contrast, regional peers have seen a drop in the share of soaring debts. Qatar astonished everyone by winning the right to host the 2022 World Cup. With a mere 4,500 square miles spread out across a peninsula that extends into the Persian Gulf, this little nation is smaller than a US state. However, the country's enormous gas wealth has granted it immense influence in the global arena. By the end of the decade, it is aiming to control approximately 25% of the world's liquefied natural gas. Qatar has also been lauded by the US for its role as a mediator between Israel and Hamas, which resulted in the release of some hostages. Qatar has now become a global negotiator. The 2022 World Cup was a major catalyst for the country's global influence. However, the total cost to host the World Cup was around $300 billion and is now weighing on domestic banks. The government relied on hundreds of real estate developers and construction companies to complete the projects. As a result, these companies accrued substantial debts from local lenders for project financing. Qatar ranks as one of the richest countries on a per capita basis. So, the government has the ability to shore up struggling banks. What measures are taken will be interesting to note. Business Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.